when we think of driving innovations, we often think of technology, engineering, and possibly even improvements in fuel economy. But what about design? Have designs been innovated over the years? It might surprise you, but many of today's eye-catching designs were made out of necessity. First time new regulation introduced, it is very tough. But by studying more, we have a freedom to create our own. For example, you know the 1970, the safety bumper came, the 60 to 20 inch bumper. At that time, every car had the same bumper, same section. No, no, no freedom for designer. Now, you see on the road, nobody understand, believe we have a safety bumper regulation anymore because we overcome. If you think about vehicle designs, we've come a long way from the family sedan and station wagon. We have so many types of cars today. Of course we have a sedan. Of course we have to follow the sedan, can, should be within the sedan segment. But what we want to do is creating the new category, expressing new design. For example, Murano, Wajuk. Or those car has those category has never been existed. These cars is we're trying to create our own category. It's not just following the same packaging, same concept, just risking it. That is not our uh, brand. So the next time you see an eye-catching design, know that there was a lot of work that went into making that vehicle look good, despite the legislation in place restricting how vehicles are made. These innovations keep us safe on the road and they provide us with some innovative designs.